Okay, Wei, what you're doing here is you're taking a yes. fresh TEM grid out, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. The grid, copper grid with carbon fuel. So this is a catalyst disposed in isopropanol. All right. In ultrasonic, 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So use this kind of 200 microliter, you know, right. pipette tip. So dab the ones. And then just uh, okay. This is the grade, so we just put gently contact it, and uh, just like a painting. On Let me get over on the other side there. Yeah. Okay, just like this painting on it, you can get uh, some a drop. Okay. On the grade, and then let it. Draw at the room temperature. Just down. Okay. Yes. And uh, let's see. You uh, have in there solvent, uh, isopropanol, right? Uh, yeah, isopropanol. And because if uh, you don't have the isopropanol, it won't wet the surface. Is that right? Oh yes. Yeah. So okay. We need some alcohol. Maybe not isopropanol. You can use or ethanol. All right. To wet. You know, this kind of alcohol is needed to wet the carbon, carbon film. Yeah. Great. Let's take a look at the, um, the, the, the dilute catalyst. Dilute catalyst? Yeah. Doing this? Yes. Yes. And I'm going to focus in on that. Yes. So the idea is to make it dilute, but not too dilute. Yeah. Too dilute, and you cannot find the particles. It's, it's hard to, you know, you have to spend a lot of time to find the Right. The and then sample. if it's too concentrated, yeah. there's too many particles, yeah. and, and you can't then see through it. Aggregation is aggregated, and, uh, you know, it will cause the charging. Yeah. And, charging and also the beam could go through the sample. Yeah. So usually this kind of solution you can go, you can actually you can read something you know, through this ink. <laughs> read, read the letters to the uh, ink. Yeah, if yeah it's through the ink. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. So okay. that's, that's how to make a uh, TEM sample. Great.